He used to hide behind a tree and stuff like that. He told me a story once about the barns where they kept hay, you know, for cows to eat, and he hid in one of those. Any kind of excuse or opportunity was allowed, like getting stuck behind a house, a tree, a family, a car, a fountain, a motorbike. Well, maybe it would be a really slow moped rather than a motorbike. But still, it all had to be within the final time limit or they would throw you out. It doesn't seem like the typical tale of how a rider came to win a Grand Tour jersey, but this is the story of the Malianera, the black jersey. Many decades ago, it was presented to the cyclist who finished the race in last place, a symbol of overcoming hardship, but in reality, one of cunning. The final recipient of a physical jersey was Giovanni Pinarello in 1951. Even today, without the Maliar itself, the title captures the imagination, and members of the Gruppetto go to extraordinary measures to claim it. The story of... I know the story because I'm from Treviso, and so is Pinarello, and the Malianera is legendary. In the penultimate stage of the Giro last year, I stopped not far from the finish line because I wanted to win the Malianera. So I stopped, and I didn't know what the maximum time was, but I wanted to be the last man in within the limit. So I had a chat with some of the fans for a few minutes. Some of them asked me what I was doing because they didn't understand, but I explained it to them. The, the other guy was Italian, so for him it was something, uh, I guess so. In the mountain stage he hid behind the camper and uh, he thought I didn't see him, so I just keep on pedaling. And then uh, after a corner, I just stopped uh, and stood in the, uh, next to the crowd. And then uh, watched him pass again, and then we rode back to the Gruppetto. And yeah, we had, we had a laugh about it. And finally, at the last K, I, I dropped from the Gruppetto. Then he saw that. And he hid it in the deviation, or what's it called, yeah, the, where the cars go. So <laughs> I didn't see him, but then the car behind me told uh, that he was hiding behind a fence. So I just stopped in the middle of the road, and then uh, suddenly he, he, he came out and he, he rode uh, to the finish. It was a small chance at glory for the workers of the peloton and those who have had adversity heaped upon them as long as they were wily enough to stay within the time limit. He was a good supporting rider, because remember, he also had to work. You know, when he really had to work, he did. Then, when the team captain went ahead and didn't need the support riders anymore, he would fall back to finish as late as possible. Then another time, I'm not sure how or why exactly, but he told me that he had to end up cycling faster than the leaders because he was in danger of missing the cutoff time. First part, I had some uh, yeah, little injury. Then uh, when I needed to sprint full full gas, I yeah, one muscle was uh, yeah, not not cooperating well. So I, I lost uh, the most of the times in the flat stages when you're a big guy, you know, the climber. Then if you finish, it's uh, that's an achievement. And uh, it can show that you worked a lot for the team. I was supporting Giacomo, but then a spectator came out near the finish line and I fell off my bike and really hurt my right leg. It was giving me a lot of problems. And then I went into the final week with a fever, but my aim was to finish the Giro, because the year before I had barely raced and it was important for my future. Despite some old-fashioned guile on the part of Nippo Vinifantini's Riccardo Stacchiotti, this year's Malianera went to Coledan's Trek Segafredo teammate, Jack Bowbridge. He may not receive anything more than recognition for his efforts this year, but that could all change in the future. Yes, yes, 100%, they should do it. I definitely think they should bring it back. It's for people who already know they have no chance of winning. So why not make a competition 
that makes people famous for coming last. We sponsor the Giro, and I've asked every year on numerous occasions, let's do the Malianera, and I'll sponsor it. But from an international point of view, they can't do it. There are five jerseys already, and it would be the sixth, so it's not possible. In 1951, when he rode his last Giro on a Vigorelli in Milan, Mani won. And my dad was wearing the Maglia Nera, riding beside Mani, who was wearing the Maglia Rossa. And the applause was the same for both of them. My father was certainly very proud to wear it.